Beerus and Moro clearly go back a long time, as Beerus has been the god of destruction for at least 75 million years, and Moro was last planet busting around 10 million years ago. When Moro has been on a rampage, it's likely that Beerus was probably napping or he simply didn't care about Moro. You might well ask, why didn't Beerus confront Moro eons ago? Ever since the resurrection of f -Arc, we've come to know that Beerus really lives up to the behaviour of a domestic cat that Toriyama designed him on. He is typically selfish, wanting everything to be dictated by him, and also lazy to the point of sleeping for copious amounts of time with reluctance to do any strenuous activities like work or training. When you understand Beerus' behaviour comes from his cat-like design, his actions become very obvious. On a side note guys, consider subscribing to us if you're into Dragon Ball and hit the bell so you don't miss any uploads and actually the best way to stay notified is by following me on Twitter as sometimes YouTube notifications are lazy like Beerus. Anyways, if Moro was only destroying planets with low mortal levels way back in time, it explains why Beerus didn't get involved as Moro was unknowingly doing Beerus' job. But it does seem unlikely as Moro feeds off planets with lots of life energy which tend to have high mortal levels. Perhaps Moro is the true reason why Universe 7 has a low universal ranking because his planet busting days have caused such a devastating and lasting effect. Beerus didn't know of the Super Dragon Balls all those millions of years ago so he had no way of knowing how to undo mass destruction. Since now he does, you'd think that Beerus would use them to undo Moro's mass destruction in the past. It's a bit weird, but it lines up with Beerus' character. Clearly, Beerus hasn't changed after the Tournament of Power as he hasn't tried to deal with Moro yet. Even when Whis informed him about Moro, Beerus still didn't care. As far as we know, Moro hasn't amassed any level of power that Beerus can't deal with, so he doesn't feel the need to stop him. Beerus is constantly motivated by food and he simply didn't intervene earlier because Planet Namek hasn't got any food. Beerus often destroys planets even though they have a high mortal level however, he simply doesn't care. If a planet's food tasting is not to his liking or the natives treat him in an unfitting way, he is very happy to destroy that planet even if it scores him an F on the job report. And then he whines and blames it on me and my fellow Kaishins when it goes all wrong. Cheers man. Beerus only intervened with Zamasu because he knew the Kai had destroyed him in the most cowardice way in the future. When something directly affects Beerus' livelihood, that is the time he gets involved. But one thing that's been good about this arc so far is Beerus and Whis have been kept away from the threat, which builds more tension and keeps the threat of Moro real, as then it's only Goku and Vegeta that can deal with him. However, since Goku has been defeated and Vegeta's victory is not assured as yet, Beerus should prepare to get involved so at least he can save his own job. Now in the last part of this video we need to solve the most intriguing part of Moro's backstory in relation to Beerus. How did Moro know about the godly Ultra Instinct? When Goku first used Ultra Instinct Omen and Moro saw it up close, he was surprised that Goku could use the technique of the gods. Clearly, Moro was already very familiar with Ultra Instinct. Was he trained by an angel once? Was he a God of Destruction candidate? It's not possible that he found Ultra Instinct out from the Kaishin as they didn't have the technique. However, there is another secret way that Mara could have discovered Ultra Instinct all eons ago. How exactly, do you ask? Well, Mara is a magical being, and in case you haven't noticed, he may have studied Ultra Instinct using his incredible scanning powers. This technique is universal in its scope, enabling Moro to hear conversations, visualize distant worlds and happenings, search out the weakest power levels, and find the exact location of celestial objects such as Dragon Balls. Whilst in prison for 10 million years, he's had a lot of time to perfect it and search everywhere for instances of Ultra Instinct too. He may have witnessed Beerus and Whis training, or Beerus using it versus Shampa and the other gods, who knows? And this is because Beerus might have used Ultra Instinct before, like he did in Chapter 28 against the other Hakaishin. As of the time of this recording, we haven't seen Moro actually use Ultra Instinct yet, so it's not clear whether he knows it through training with a god, or scanning the universe for millions of years, but Moro is adamant that he doesn't even need it, as his power has surpassed the god. Is he saying that his power is greater than Ultra Instinct? 
I'll leave you guys to answer that question down in the comments section below. And by the way, if you missed it, check out this video on why Beerus must defeat Moro, because there's some really important reasons why that you might not have thought of. Thanks guys for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please Kyle Ken that like button and subscribe to expand your knowledge of Dragon Ball and get coverage of Super. So I'll see you in the next video, but until then, I challenge you to watch the following videos of mine. Alright? Cheers, guys. Kai Kai.